In this spooky review, we size up Sam Hain as we have a look at the new Mezco Toys Trick or Treat Mega Sized Sam. He may look like a child dressed for trick-or-treating, but Sam is the personification of Halloween itself. Straight from the flick trick-or-treat comes Sam, the enforcer of the rules of Halloween. Beneath his apparently innocent scarecrow mask is the misshapen demonic head, part pumpkin, part supernatural being. Sam shows no mercy to those who would show disrespect to this holiday. So let's figure out how tall Sam stands, so from the bottom of his footed pajamas to the top of his hood, his mask, the figure stands exactly, and I actually would have thought he was a little bit shorter, but sure enough, the proof is in the pudding, he stands at 15 inches exactly, which, translated to centimeters, the figure stands 38.1 centimeters in height. He gets the accessories you would expect Sam to come included with. His little bag, and little being the operative word, the bag is pretty small. I mean, if, even if you put it next to him, it doesn't even look like it belongs to this figure. I feel like it, the bag should be a little bit taller, and it certainly should be shaped a little bit more than just simply putting a pillow inside a burlap sack, which essentially just looks like what that's what they've done. It's soft, it doesn't have any misshape to it, like it should almost be something that has a curve to it, as if he's dragging it. You can't put it in his hand, even though his hand technically is a grippable hand, there just really isn't enough for him to hold on to it. As you can see, it just sort of, sort of just sits there, but doesn't sit there. It's way, way too small. The other accessory he comes included with is his lollipop. Now, normally I would have said that the lollipop is also off on its proportions, but then if you kind of look at Sam being a, a stockier, mega-sized version of Sam from the movie, then logically it would make sense then that the lollipop isn't quite to scale either. Like, it's a lot bigger than what it really should be. The handle should be a lot longer. I know it really sounds like I'm just nitpicking this, but this was a figure that I picked up with the intent of reviewing him over the month of Spottober, and I was really looking forward to this guy delivering everything I would want a Sam to deliver, and then ultimately I'm sort of just walking away from this, sort of heartbroken with what we ultimately did get. So, like his lollipop, like I said, is a little bit off-proportioned. It's made up of a translucent plastic, which you can see half of it's been bitten off, and then it's got these striped candy striping in the orange and black Halloween colors. Now to put this into his hand, I'm just going to take the bag, I mean it's of no significant value to the figure, I'm just going to put that to the side. To put it through his hand, it only fits in this hand. And if I tilt it up, you can see what's going on here. They've solidly finished the hand, in other words, like there's no opening right here. Instead, what they've done is they've sort of cheated by putting a hole in the top, to which you're supposed to take the handle of the lollipop and slide it through. This doesn't, this isn't a very easy thing to accomplish and it doesn't even go all the way through. I don't know why they couldn't have just made this an opened area in which the, you could actually see the handle of the lollipop actually showing through. Instead you're looking at a big bulky bit of plastic that really doesn't have any rhyme or reason for being there. I guess their intent was it was it's in place so that at the very least he can hold it a little bit better than what he would if he was simply just gripping onto the handle. Okay, so that's one problem I have with this figure. The problems overall across the board stem from shortcomings. And I'm not just saying it because the character is short, but I feel like there's short elements to the figure where I feel like they shortchanged the character. 
And we'll go a little bit back to the hands for one of the reasons why I may say that. I'll just move the lollipop out of the way or sucker out of the way. Speaking of suckers, I feel like they've suckered me into thinking that the figure is supposed to have more than what he actually does. Now, if you look at the figure's hands, if you remember in the movie, he's actually got fingerless gloves. Everybody was wearing fingerless gloves. Well, apparently not Sam here. They've put blood on his fingers, which is nice, but to shortchange this being fingerless gloves, they instead have just put a ruffle on the end of his sleeve. Like the pajamas are good, and we'll talk more about that in a second, but why they couldn't have made holes in these and put them around his actual fingers. They could have easily glued these. I, I mean, I, I can put, I could literally put slices, slice, cut, 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 and I could have glued these portions to his fingers, or I could have just glued it like this and put slices in between. I don't know why they couldn't have just simply done that. Instead, they put just a frill. Those aren't fingerless gloves. Those That's a frill. And he has it actually on both hands, unfortunately. So that's one thing that I have problems with the figure. I mean, I could get into the, the breakdown of even the way it looks on the back of the box. Actually, hold on one second. Yes, might as well. I mean, if I'm talking about the box, I'll show you the box as well. We looked at this at the beginning of this review, but not to this extent. Now, if you look at the bag, the bag doesn't quite look like... It almost looks like it's the same size that, as the one that's on the box. It also has a little bit more of a shape to it, and it certainly has a lot more coloring to it than what we ultimately got. This is just very bl plain and basic. And then if we look again at a couple of little things, okay, there's a few little extra things we can look at here. His thumb and his finger is open. You can see it right there. I don't know, if, hopefully you can see it. It's, it's right there. In fact, you can see the lollipop handle going in the opening of the hand and coming out the back. Well, you can't accomplish that on this figure because his hand is closed shut on the bottom. So it's not quite really looking like the way it does from the packaging. The lollipop, the fingerless gloves are all sort of second to the biggest problem I have with the figure and that is his mask. And for that, I'm gonna move the box out of the way. Yes, my biggest problem with the figure is the mask. Now he wears a mask over top of his face like as he does in the movie. Now, there is a reveal to this. You can take this off and reveal underneath his real face, which sounds good on paper. The problem with that is, though, remembering what it looked like on the box and even in the film, he's got a defined face, or at the very least, it's very round. That's because the, the face was already molded to be a circle. Here, they've just sort of draped it over top of his head. There's nothing defining the shape of this head. It doesn't have a great job of looking round, and any little bit of moving that you do, you can try to mimic it being circular, but it does look off-shaped. Even when you, when I got it out of the box, the smile, if you will, from the stitching was further down. And the problem is that his face has I'll just show you a very alien shape to it. So it's almost impossible to get this perfectly round. You fiddle, you fuss, you mess around with it, but it never feels like you're getting it exactly the way you want it. I also feel as if the coloring could have been a little bit darker, and at the very least, the stitching should have been a lot darker on this as well. Nitpicking, perhaps, but this is all valid points I think I'm making looking at something that potentially should have been done right. Okay, so... Before we have a look at the reveal, let's have a look at the rest of his outfit. Now, he's wearing footed pajamas. They've slightly discolored the under treads of his pajamas as if he's got dirt on it. Probably not as an extreme as it probably should for how much he's walking around in mud in the movie. There's discoloration to what I can describe it as almost like a felt material made up, making up his footed pajamas. And he's got a couple of little square patches on the front and, of course, his pocket on the back, right, like so. Uh, we'll talk a little bit, I guess, about his posability, and then we'll do the big face reveal. So, posability, his head rotates, it's on a ball joint, which sounds great, but it ultimately just starts loosening the, uh, the cording that's around his neck. Uh, his arms hinge out, and you can move him forward and back. So he's fairly posable in that regard. You can also rotate the hands, 
Um, you can't rotate the waist and you can move the legs back and forth. Um, they don't move out, they don't hinge out. They're sort of on par with what you would be seeing with maybe like a living dead doll, for example, or the mega-sized Jason. The feet also can rotate sideways. That's something else I forgot to mention. So he's sort of the, the same vein of articulation as, say, a Mezco Chucky or a Mega Size Jason, all of which we've looked at on this channel. So he's fairly poseable, but the biggest problem is, again, it's the head that's killing it for me. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the reveal. And I've just loosely done this just so that it would be a lot easier for me to un untie this. I can't see myself ever permanently doing this, so I probably will just tighten it as best as I can, and I, I really would want to display him more so like this, even though I do appreciate the fact that Mezco would sculpt an underhead. Let's go ahead and reveal that right now. So we'll just take this off. Ready? Ready? And there's the head sculpt right there. Now, to the, really the credit of Mezco, that's a good-looking head sculpt for the way Sam looked in the film. But I feel almost as if what they should have done is if you are putting then the burlap sack mask over top of his face, they almost should have given you something else to put over top of it as well. So maybe some additional padding on the interior, because there really is any, there is nothing in there other than just the burlap. So what it ultimately does is it just sort of drapes against his face, giving him off proportions that don't look accurate to the way they looked in the film. Now, looking at the details on his face, the head sculpt is really good. It looks exactly like it does from the movie. Kind of a cross between an alien, a supernatural creature, and of course a jack-o'-lantern. Like the eyes, I like the nose. It's got these little uh, like seams and stitches there on his mouth and above his eyes. The discoloration on the way they make it look like a pumpkin are all very good. And it was one of those neat reveals that was in the movie itself as well. Like when, it, when we finally saw Sam without his mask, it was a really neat looking design, something that we had never seen before. Mezco at the very best, I guess, has tried to recreate that, but its biggest obstacle is really once again getting this over top of his head. And let me just show you again. When you put it over top of his head, I almost feel as if like this is too big. If it was a little bit smaller, Maybe it would have done a better job because you can make it as tight as you possibly can, but what you're ultimately then going to be throwing off, though, is the stitching in the mouth. Again, you can make it as tight as you possibly can, but just by the nature of the way the head is sculpted, it doesn't make a perfect circle. It sort of just makes it slender on the side, sunken in on this end here, and very sharply defined down below. So it may require a little bit of tweaking to get it as best and closest to the movie as you possibly can get it. So when it's all said and done, is the Mezco Toys Mega Size Sam from Trick or Treat a disappointing collectible? Not quite. I know there's reluctancy probably in my tone of voice when I say that. For its price point, and for the fact that Mezco Toys is helming this, you sort of know what you're going to be expecting. This is on par with the same similar stuff that we've been seeing with the Child's Play Chuckies and Tiffany's, the Living Dead Dolls, and the recently looked at Mega Size Jason. It sort of translates to a simplified version of Sam for how he's depicted in the film. I feel like Mezco might have taken some shortcuts and some luxuries when it came to releasing this figure, and some of the things just don't seem as if they put a lot of time and care into it, like his trick-or-treat bag. It doesn't seem like it's big enough and it doesn't fit in his hand properly. Speaking of not fitting into his hand properly, of course the box would depict putting his lollipop into his hand a little bit differently than what you actually can do. Instead, you have to force the handle into a hole that they've not quite drilled, but placed in between his pointer and his thumb, and that's supposed to simulate him holding the lollipop. And instead, you see this big bulky gap of plastic in between his fingers and his thumb, clearly showing he's not quite holding it in his hand. And speaking of hands, one can't overlook the fact that he doesn't have fingerless gloves. This seems like a simple fix on Mezco's part. I don't know why they just couldn't have glued the burlap to around his fingers to, at the very least, make it look like he was wearing fingerless gloves. Instead, it looks more like he's just got a burlap sticking out from the sleeves of his footed pajamas. That's not quite right. I'm going to omit my complaints with the mask. 
Like I know in the mask in the film it looks a little bit more round and I know they used two different heads obviously. For the reveal it was a different mask than what we see for most of the film. Mesco Toys sort of just gives you a burlap sack that is supposed to be draped over top of his face reveal. And it's successful, the face reveal, but I can't quite ever feel like I'm fitting the mask over his head properly to give him that defined round shape that he's supposed to have in the movie. But for final looks, I'm going to omit that part because I know it's, it's really accurate to the way it was in the film in the sense that it's just a mask, a, a sack, really, that he's putting over top of his head. So you may have to tighten it and sort of play around with it to get the proper size, the proper shape that you want. Like I said, I'm not going to pick that apart too much, but I do feel like Mezco might have taken a little bit of luxury when it came to this figure release. It's still not the definitive, uh, true, accurate-looking uh, Sam that I would want from the film. I don't really think there's a, a company out there that has yet released a true, accurate replica of the way Sam looks from the film. This is as good as you're going to get for its price point, and like I said, for the fact that Mezco Toys is helming this. It's no criticize towards Mezco Toys, but if you've collected any of the Child's Play dolls, for example, they're not the most accurate to the way that they looked in the film. Same way that Sam isn't the most accurate to the way he looked in the film either. Today's spookerific review, though, we were having a look at the Mezco toys. This was the mega-sized Sam from Trick or Treat. Not overly disappointing, but he could have been a lot better than what he turned out being. If you guys want to check out some more spookerific reviews over the month of Spottober, we've still got some time, technically. I know we're kind of getting under the wire now to, like, the last... I think we're within the last week or so before Halloween. But I'm going to do my best to churn out some more spooktacular reviews before that comes. Um, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet to this channel, what are you waiting for? The little subscribe button is just going to be below this video. And if you wanted to go back and have a look at the other spooky spots that I've done over the years, not only have I playlisted... Is that a word? Playlisted all the videos for Spooky Spot 2018, but I've also got a playlist for all the other Spooky Spots over the years as well, if you guys wanted to go back and have a look at those as well. More videos will be coming your way, guys, so as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.